Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea and it's nice to have you guys here today. Today is my annual what I received for Christmas, aka what I got for Christmas. Got, just doesn't sound very nice, what I was given for Christmas by my lovely family. I do this every year. I know, this disclaimer up front, I know these videos aren't for everyone. I think the title was pretty self-explanatory, so if you clicked on it anyway, I don't really know what to tell you. If you prefer giving more than receiving, I did film my what I gave for Christmas video. You are more than welcome to go watch that instead of this one if that is more your speed. But this is honestly more for me to look back on each year and see the lovely gifts that my family gave me each year. So that is what we're going to do. I once again was very generously given a lot of really lovely gifts that I have not really been using because I was waiting until I filmed this video. So that's usually my thing. Everything gets packed up for a few days and then I sit down and film this video and it's like Christmas day all over again. So to start with, I have my stocking. Uh, I thought I would show you what I got in my stocking this year. Santa kept it really simple and really basic. I got a pack of Kinder Regal bars, which I absolutely love these. They're so nostalgic. It's basically the same chocolate combination in the classic Kinder Eggs. At least I can still get that chocolate combination because that is my favorite thing about the Kinder Eggs is that like milk chocolate outer layer with like the creamy white chocolate inner layer. And that's what this is. So very excited for that. Might have one of those later today. I also got a pack of Haribo Happy Cherries. Love all the Haribo products. Grew up on these, the cherries, the gold bears, all of that stuff. The Coca-Cola bottles when we lived in Germany. And then um, Santa left a few, a handful, of the mini Kinder Buenos. Love those as well. So yeah, that was the candy and gifts. Basically my stocking was candy this year because all the gifts got left under the tree this time. From my aunt, so if you were watching the last Christmas, the last Vlogmas vlog, the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day combined vlog, you'll have seen that we did a gift exchange over FaceTime with my aunt on Christmas Eve. One of the items got left at the house, unfortunately, but I do have a clip um, that I saved from that vlog. She gave me an adorable snow globe with Santa under, uh, Santa in front of a tree with a dog. It's from an animal a charity group that she likes shopping from. So that was really cute. She also gave me, this is a Vita Santa produce saver. It's got a little vented space at the bottom. So it's all sealed, but it's vented. And I guess it's for like herbs and vegetables. Thought that was fun and useful. And then she gave me a $50 gift card to Penzi Spices already had a look on their website and there's a few gift sets that I think would be good for me to try out um, and then her big gift was she gave me an Amazon gift card which I am very grateful for and I'm considering putting towards a new Apple watch because I have been wanting to upgrade my Apple watch this is a first generation they're now up to the six or seven series. I think it's the seven series, the series seven. I got another Amazon gift card. I'm thinking of combining them and that would be not quite half, but almost half, I think, of the cost of a new Apple Watch. So that's what I'm considering. Stay tuned over the next like month of vlogs to see if it happens. Then the gifts from my family. So my parents and my sister. So my sister, again, if you were watching the vlog, I did include some bits of our family gift exchange in the vlog. She had a bit of fun wrapping my gifts. On the outside of the box was a letter, which I'm not going to read, but a very personal letter from my charming sister talking about how much she loves me, which is a gift in and of itself. I really did love how she wrapped everything because it was just so thoughtful and it just made the whole experience really fun. I forgot what order all of these came in, um, but I've saved all of the little notes. I'm gonna probably like package them up in something and just save them because I think it'd be fun to look at these year after year. But basically, she just kept wrapping boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and I had to open each box to get to the next one and then my gift was finally 
in the most inner box. So with each layer, there were also these notes. And so the notes say things like, also because you're so pretty, also because you're so smart. One of them <laughs> said, sorry, not a pony. Also because you're so fun to be around, because you inspire me in so many ways. And so then worked all the way down until I got to this box, which said to Andrea from Still Me. <laughs> And then there was a note inside, but mostly because I love you. And then she's got present under this. And then underneath that note was my Amazon gift card, which I feel like I've never worked so hard to unwrap a gift card in my life, but it was the most fun. So between this gift card and the Amazon one from my aunt, she sent that one digitally. So that's in my email. I'm considering putting both of those gift cards towards something bigger. So then two fashion gifts from my mom or two wear, well there actually there were three wearable gifts. One is the sweater that I'm wearing which is this beautiful fair isle print in like gray and blue and white. I've got the sleeves all rolled up but it's got these lovely sleeves. It comes down to just below the waist. This is the first day I've put it on. I'm wearing it for the first time for this video and I absolutely love it. It is so snugly warm. The other sweater she gave me is this absolutely beautiful and fun orange and pink striped sweater. I just thought this was so cute. I remember her showing this to me on the Nordstrom Rack app. So I'm really glad that she got it for me. She did not let this one slip at all and I'm absolutely in love with the print on it. I have been looking for a beautiful Fair Isle print and they're just really hard to find in a decent quality without being charged an absolute fortune. So it is super, super, super soft and snuggly. And so is this one. I'll probably wear this one tomorrow. And then I'll probably wear this one again the day after tomorrow. Like I'm just gonna be living in these sweaters for as long as it is cool enough. So then the third thing she got me, and this is a complete surprise, is something from Ted Baker. Although I believe she got this from the rack our favorite place to shop for Ted Baker items, in case you didn't know. It is this kimono, I guess you would call it. Although it doesn't have long sleeves, but it's just basically a simple like square of fabric that they've stitched um, across the shoulders and then they've stitched it, where's the stitch? They've stitched it just briefly down the side here. So it does have a slit through the sides, um, but you wear it like a kimono. And I just thought this was super cute. I can't wait to wear this. I think with a long sleeve t-shirt when it's still a little cool out, but then with a short sleeve t-shirt in the summer, I think will be super cute. And I love the print on this. It's so pretty. There's these like gold, champagne-y gold threads that run through it. Just beautiful. I was very surprised that was something I was absolutely n like not even on my radar thinking because I hadn't seen it myself to like point it out to her so she got me with that one. Next we'll do the stationary stuff because there's quite quite a bit of stationary stuff. First she got me this which will be fun to do. I love these things. So this is and this is adventure trivia, 100 questions, and it's just different trivia questions and it comes in this little tin. That was exciting. Then she does this every year, but I got my annual 2022 Shutterfly calendar. So January, we're gonna have the pups. Looking forward to that. And then she just has pictures. Um, there's one of us with Tamsin on our last trip. This is a gorgeous one mom took of the Tower of London with the Tower Bridge in the distance. So this one always goes up in my kitchen. So that's my calendar gift for the year. Then she got me this set of pens from Nordstrom Rack by Fringe, which is a stationery company that I absolutely love. So these are what the pens look like. They've all got different sayings on them. So I thought that was super cute. They say things like, you grow girl, oopsie daisy, let love grow, whole, a bunch of ideas, bloom where you are, which is one of my favorite kind of sayings and ideas. And yeah, I was really excited about that. Can always use pens. Then she got me three absolutely beautiful notebooks. One of which I think I will use, start using right away. The other two are like just gonna live on a shelf for me to look at them and admire them because they're so pretty. So this one is by a brand called Denik. Purple on the cover and then it's got this gorgeous constellation star sign print on it, which I love. Oh, and on the side, I don't know if this is gonna focus. It says written in the stars. 
That's really cute. I feel like Tamsin needs this. <laughs> Like this is a Tamsin notebook. Um, but I, what I like about it and why I think this one I will like force myself to start using it is on the inside it's lined and then it's got a space to put the day and the day of the week and all of that. So I think for business calls and things like that, this will be really good. Then she gave me this beautiful, it comes with a gorgeous box and everything, this notebook from Swarovski. It's got this gorgeous cover, like almost like a pearl finish cover with Swarovski crystals on it and the Swarovski logo at the top. And I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. And this one is unlined on the inside. So I feel like this needs to be used for something special. And until I figure out what that is, I'm just going to admire it on my desk. Um, and then the last notebook she got me from her historic Royal Palace's order is this absolutely gorgeous luxury journal. I can't remember the name of this print, but it is gorgeous. And what's funny is I gave her a pen that matched this print. So she's got the pen, I've got the journal. It's really thick. I love the gold embossed pages. That's the inside cover, which is beautiful. And then it's just a simple lined notebook with little crowns at the bottom. So we've got the ribbon bookmark and then it's got a gold elastic band to help keep it shut. Oh, and if you noticed, it's got little rhinestones on the crown. So this is not a journal that I would wanna be shoving in and out of my work bag. This is one that would need to like live on the desk because I wouldn't want those rhinestones to pop off in my bag. Now getting down to the last few gifts. Also with that same print and another large rhinestone, she gave me and my sister this really beautiful jewelry roll. So it unsnaps. What I like about it is it does have three different snaps. So if you fill it a little bit, you can still get it shut. And then on the inside, it's got a zipper pouch up here, a, what, yeah, a detachable pouch there for other jewelry bits. And then this opens up and you've got uh, another zipper pouch here, a bar for your rings and a bar for your earrings. So I thought that was really pretty and would be really nice to use the next time I go to London. Also from Historic Royal Palaces, this really beautiful ornament. This is a Tudor rose, which I actually don't have one of these. I've got a lot of ornaments in this same style, this kind of um, fabric and embroidered with crystals and beads and things. So I do really like this style. And since it's been two years since I've been able to get a new ornament from the UK, it was really nice that mom thought to get me one from in that order. So I feel like we both were ordering gifts from Historic Royal Palaces as a way of like saying, we couldn't go to London, but here's a little something from the UK and to hold us over until the next time we go. And then her last gift from that order is this beautiful necklace that is meant to kind of be designed after Princess Diana's engagement ring, which I do have a very similar, they didn't market this as her ring, but like, it is. So this I picked up on a previous trip from a jewelry shop in Covent Garden. I also have matching earrings. Um, so now I basically have a full set of like sapphires, well, fake sapphires. But yeah, I just thought that was really pretty. It's got the crystals around the edge of the blue crystal, but then it also has, if it will focus, little rhinestones on the pendant loop. So really pretty. Um, I love jewelry. My mom knows I love jewelry. I'm actually going to put this on right now. The sparklier the better as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and blue is one of my favorite colors. So I love sapphires or any kind of blue crystal. Which is probably also why I love this sweater so much because I love the gray and the blue. And this actually looks really pretty with that. So that's all the Historic Royal Palaces. Now there's three items left. One you've seen me talk about before because she gave me one of these as an early gift and then I'd also bought two earlier. So now I am well stocked on the Warm and Cozy Candle by Sweetwater Decor. I absolutely love this candle. It is just everything Christmas in a jar. I might actually light this one and start burning it here. <laughs> 
on the coffee table. And then the last two things were also from Ted Baker and I was really, really excited to see them. As soon as I opened this up, I could see through the wrapping what it was and I was so excited. So this is a cosmetic bag. I think they call this size the wash bag. So this is for more for toiletries. A rose gold zipper and then it's got a nice pink satin lining. It's got this gorgeous print on it, which I have a handbag in this print if you've watched my Ted Baker bag collection video. I've got a gorgeous bag in this in this print. I absolutely love it. And then I have a few my travel set, my passport holder, travel wallet is in this print, and I've got a little mini card holder in this print, but I didn't get anything else in that print. And this print is like four or five years old now. So when I saw this on their website that they had this wash bag, I don't know if they were reviving some old prints or what, but I'm like, oh, like if Santa wants to get me something <laughs> from Ted Baker, this might be something to consider. So I was very, very excited. If you've been around here for a long time, you know I love my Ted Baker prints. They haven't been making prints like this lately. They've kind of gone in a much more like modern, almost like edgier direction with a lot of their prints. They don't do as much of the soft, whimsical feminine florals, which is what made me fall in love with the brand in the first place. I'm hoping it's just a phase, but I did build up a good collection of items like this. It has probably helped save some money, to be honest, that they haven't had as many tempting, beautiful floral prints. But when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna buy it for myself. I could live without it. But if mom got it for me for Christmas, I'd be very, very happy. So I'm very, very happy. And then the last item, also Ted Baker, and this is something I've had my eye on for a while, but it was, again, never really a need. And so I never bought it myself. Then every time I didn't, I'd kind of kick myself and be like, you should have bought it yourself. So I saw this pop up again. I was like, okay, this can go on my Christmas list. So it comes in this box. It is a glasses case with a cleaning cloth. And what I like about it is that it does fold down completely flat. So if I'm not using it, I can store it flat, or if I'm using it like on a day when I'm wearing my contacts and I just need this for sunglasses, when I'm wearing the sunglasses, the case can fold up flat to go back in my bag, but it folds out into a triangle and then your sunglasses or glasses or whatever can go inside. I don't think this would fit some of my larger pairs, but this would fit probably most of my sunglasses, including my two Ted Baker sunglasses, which right now I only have one case for those. So I thought this is really cute. And then it comes with a little cleansing cloth. And then again, it just folds back completely flat. So that is it. That is enough, <laughs> more than enough. I feel like once again, I was very spoiled by my family. So many lovely, thoughtful gifts that I know I will get a lot of use out of. The calendar is always a hit. You know, every day I walk by um, the sh my Shutterfly calendar from this year. So I always tell her like, okay, are you getting one or do I need to make one? This has kind of become an annual thing. But then I was really excited this year that we both were able to give each other some lovely things from the historic royal palaces. We both have really missed going to London. It's been two years. Last, in, in 2019, we went in October because of a conference, but this year we probably would have been there like right now. Because she and I tend to go every other year together. I think this year would have been our year to go right after Christmas. And it's it's a little bit gutting to know that like, if the pandemic weren't a thing, we'd probably have been in London for the last few days. So we brought a little bit of London and the UK here to each other. Um, if you saw the What I Gave for Christmas video or if you were watching the Vlogmas Vlogs from Christmas Day, I gave her some tea and biscuits from Fortnum and Mason that I was able to get through William Sonoma, which is a US company here. And so we both were kind of thinking along the same wavelength of just giving each other a little bit of like what we probably would have gotten ourselves if we had gone to the UK this year. So feeling very 
very loved, very grateful for my family's generosity. That is everything. I hope you've enjoyed it. Our question for this video, I would love to know some of the gifts that you were given this year, whether it was physical gifts or gifts of people's time or anything like that. What were some of the lovely gifts that you were given throughout Christmas, throughout the Christmas season, the holiday season? What was the favorite thing, your favorite thing that you received this year? I would love to know. Say hi in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. The vlogs will be returning very soon as well as lots of new year planning, goal setting, intentions, things like that. All of that will be coming up. I think the next video though will be my vlog from New Year's Eve. I'm actually going to start filming the introduction to that as soon as I'm done talking to you guys right now. It is December 30th so it is the day before New Year's Eve, but I will be vlogging today and tomorrow. So we'll wrap up the 2021 vlogs with a final two days of December and New Year's Eve. And yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Say hi, let me know how you're doing, and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!